Just going, going back to the side, having a quick look what's going on. So we've got, look where we are now, we've got one house here, two, three and four. So I'm going to go in number one, which is the most progressed, and I'll give you a look around. So come, let's go and go and take you in the one that's the most progressed. It's literally much rolling on two, three and four. Same again, we'll do the one roof, we'll do two roofs together and then one singly because we're all joined. Literally this strip out, starting first fix, put the walls in, strip out, first fix, and we're just rolling on one after the other. So I'll take you inside now. This was two flats. It's going to be one one bed, one two bed. Walk in the door here, what we've done is created this hallway. We've put a steel in so the door goes through the back. This allows us to open the door, put a sofa into the living room. The bedroom door is here. Same again, this was an open plan bedroom originally. We put its own corridor in. We've gone and tanked all the outside wall because it was damp. Uh, we've gone and studied that off. It'll be insulation backed plasterboard. All of these walls are single brick. I'll show you in a moment exactly what, what I mean. It's thin. All the party walls are going to be insulated as well to allow for less heat loss and sound. All the ground floor. The room drilled, injected, standard cement render. As you can, this is going to be the living room, this is the one bed. So you can see what we've done, all the ceilings are dropped. This allows us to run all the services in, pipes, electrics, gas, whatever, and finish off with a nice flat ceiling. Going go through to the kitchen, into the lounge, into the bathroom. This is going to be the kitchen here. Kitchen along the back, a left here on the kitchen also along here, that's all brand new as well, out into the bathroom, it's all been boarded, because it's single, oh it's so wet, my fingers are messing on to, but yeah so insulation boards all the way around, the floor's been raised, this was a step down originally, the bath originally was up against the window, I'm putting the bath in there now, so that has allowed us to put the shower up here, nice shower screen, and the toilet and sink here. I'll take you upstairs now. So let's take you upstairs now. This is where the two bed is. Let's go upstairs and see all the team. Got the paint up here. Look, we even have females on site. Look at that, even health and safety. <laughs> oh, I'll take you to the front of the building first. Morning. This is what we've done here. We've put a stud wall in to create two separate rooms. This is the lounge. All brand new heating. Insulation board, insulation board, external, insulation board, party walls, nice bedroom, sorry, nice living room. The bedroom is behind that wall. Doors are now on. This is the grey that we're going for. It's going to be woodwork, skirts, arcs and doors in grey. This is the false corridor we've created. This is the kids box room. Same again, doors are on. What we've done is measured from there to there. That's 120. That allows a small double bed to fit in here. So if you want to do a kid's single bed or small double, that's fine. We've also created a wardrobe here. We'll put a wardrobe pole in, doors. That can be a built-in wardrobe. This is the bathroom here. I'll show you over Dan's head. Here I am. So you think, what we've done is created this wall. This was, oh, all right, nice one. Yeah, so that is a stud wall there. I'll show you the other side in a minute. Really nice. Smart, isn't it? Kitchen now. Yeah, it's a kitchen in the middle. Just doing the tiling, same again, that's a stud wall we put in. Nice size kitchen for a two bed flat. Oh, yeah. Then this is the gap for the fridge freezer. We put an extra cupboard high and low so it's nice and symmetrical. Now, I'll just take you through the back. Okay, much. This is the second bedroom. Originally here, if you can remember, this was a kitchen. There was a wall here. That was a kitchen. And at the back was the bathroom. So it's a nice size in here. So yeah, originally you walked in, there was a stud wall here. That was a, the most smallest kitchen that you could ever imagine. And this was the bathroom, which was in the window. I don't know why people fit bathrooms or showers in the windows. That's where the boiler's gonna be. It's gonna be in the housing. We're gonna have a carbon monoxide alarm. We'll check our building regs and the gas guys, that's perfectly fine. Thank you very much.